Hello everybody. Uh, once again, this is Uncle Jimmy with Jimmy's Train Station and Travel Adventures and we're on another adventure today. We're actually upside of Carlisle, Pennsylvania between Gettysburg and Carlisle and we're in uh, Mitchock State Forest. Um, there was a, uh, actually there was a German World War II prisoner camp here in Pennsylvania. Um, I found out and I'm going to share that with you today. We're going to look at some of the remaining structures that's left behind from that time. Uh, we're at stop number one and I'll read this to you. It says uh, Camp Mitchox from 1785 to today. The forests and fields around South Mountain High clues the four unique ways that people have used the Mitchox State Forest land over the past two centuries agriculture conversation government recreation and today now if you look here under government it says from 1943 to 1945 the war department used the old ccc camp to house interrogate more than 7,500 german prisoners of war plus japanese pow's toward the end of world war ii um here's a a painting of the German prisoner of war camp. It later turned into a church camp youth later on. And today it's just uh, history and habitat. Uh, they no longer use it for a camp or anything else. But the public access to the secret interrogation facility was blocked by a fence around the camp and gates on the public road. There's some more pictures of it. There's also a conservation camp for young men to earn $30 a month. But we're here because it was a World War II campsite. Well, I do have my phone with me, and uh, we're going to go walk back here. And uh, it's got a map on my phone here that tells me about each site. And that's stop number one. We'll see if we can find what one's all about. If I can get it there. Walking tour. This is just the parking area here. Um. So we're going to walk back here and see if we can find some other structures. See if I can see here. It says it's the site of a gas station and other structures used by the CC. See, um, during World War II, North, let's see. Immediately into north of this marker was the location of POW compound. Two forty where officers were intended to house while they were at the camp. Visible beyond the side of the compound, two barracks are the ruins of the collapsed barn wall which was one of the two surviving features of bunker hill farm proceed east to bunker hill road for 80 paces of the to the trail that leads off to the left locate marker two near the beginning of the trail so i'm not sure if we're going to go this direction or this direction but we're just going to adventure here and see what we find I am seeing some ruins here. There's there's some uh, foundation that might have been one of the buildings. Up here is another remnants of a building also. 
which is right over there and I'm not sure if that was one of the barracks it probably is the remains of one of those so just take a walk with me and we'll figure this out as we go so follow me and uh, we'll continue on but there's those remnants of barracks over there or structures of some type of building so follow me and we'll figure this out as we go all right folks right across the marker one is this sign here it says camp mitch ox so this is a site of the pine grove furnace prisoner of war interrogation camp from 1943 to 1945 here the u.s war department opened a Planstein facility where military intelligence officers interrogated enemy prisoners. During its 30 month existence, thousands of German and Japanese prisoners were questioned here in an attempt to learn about the Axis war effort and the development of new weaponry from 1787 to 1919. This site was a farm serving the iron industry. The Civilian Conservation Corps operated Camp S51PA here from 33 to 1942. Following the war, it became Church Camp Mitchox, 1946 to 72, a cooperative effort of the United Church of Christ and the United Presbyterian Churches. The area is now a protected area of the Mitchox State Forest. So we're going to go back here and see if we can find more sites. Hi, how are you? Good. So this is site number seven. Let's see what we got here. This was the uh, forestry office. Now for POW, for the camp. This was uh, the interrogation building right here. So this is the remnants of the interrogation building where they interrogated the prisoners, the Japanese and the German soldiers. We got steps here that lead up. There's probably a second story, maybe. A lot of history, folks. This is really neat. So I'm standing on the concrete floor of the original structure here, which I'm sure it was probably a wooden floor built up, and this is the foundation. But this is where they would have interrogated the German and the Japanese prisoners right here. This is the foundation of that building. So I can see there's markers all the way up here. So we will keep going. And I will read you the history of these things. And tell you what they are as we go. Let's see if I can find marker 7 here. Okay, I've lost it on my phone. Well, I've got this little map here that we can use, and I'm sure that'll help us along. So we'll continue on and go back this trail and see what else we can find. Seems like a lot of the markers are close together. I don't know about you folks, but I just love history. This is this amazed me when I came across this. Um, I actually found it. I looked on a video of the Wandering Woodsman. He goes around, and he's another YouTuber, goes around and films things. And I found it because he had visited here himself. And that's actually how I found it. Now this is number eight. And number eight says that it is 
the POW historical marker. So this is the historical marker here. It's quite worn now and hard to see, but it does say POW. So it's a little marker to commemorate that this was a prisoner of war camp. I'm just going to cut across here different locations because there's another marker right down here. And then we're going to stick pretty much to the trail. But we'll go down here and see what marker this is. Just think of all the history here, folks, as we walk around and see this. This is some more foundation here. And some pillars, cement structure sticking up. And this is number 25 on our list. So we're going to be jumping around because I'm not sh quite sure how to do this. But this was the staff barracks. So it would have been the staff that took care of the POWs. This is where their barracks would be right here. pretty amazing I'm sure if you were allowed to metal detect here which you're not I'm sure you would find all kinds of cool things coins and a little bit of everything from World War II era so we'll continue on up the trail and see what else we can find What's amazing, they still have the actual sidewalks and stuff here. Coming up on another structure here. Just like everywhere you look, there's remnants of structures and again it's like everywhere you look there's cement structures or where barracks and stuff was Pretty amazing. Okay, this is number nine and this would have been the staff recreation compound and fountain and guard tower all in one so let's see if we can find some of this here I'm looking around it's a lot of broken pieces pipes and stuff from the time pieces of pipe so I'm not sure but there is a structure right here I don't know if that was the guard one of the guard towers But here's a fountain that was made, I'm pretty sure it was made by the prisoners, the German prisoners.
pretty neat see a lot of the blue rock that was put into it but i'm pretty sure they said that this was made by the prisoners the german prisoners this fountain and it did actually work at one time okay so here we have the four posts of the guard tower so this was one of the guard towers right here you got four cement structures that held the base of the guard tower and you got some other little cement structures around here not quite sure what they are but follow me and we'll continue on and find the next marker so follow me so this is a uh, marker 22 and there's supposed to be a pow flagpole holder not quite sure where it's at um get up this trail a little see if we can find it a little wet up through here muddy I think it's still a little too cold for snakes but i'm still watching because there's definitely copperheads and rattlesnakes in this area so we're going up the trail now Let's see if we can find it um i'm not sure if that was it down at the bottom not seeing anything but up here's marker number 10 oh here we go i believe i found it so this right here is where the flagpole was so we're probably pretty close to the center of the campsite Number 10, it says compound one gate. Oh, uh, okay, that's what this is. I'm sorry. This is actually marks the gate where the pole went in to the prison camp. So there's a guard gate right here. That's what that is. up there it says uh 19 which is supposedly a dam and water reservoir but i'm more interested in the world war ii sites the actual building structures so i hope you find this interesting uh this is really neat to be here of course it's better to be here in person and see it yourself it's really muddy now this is uh the ccc star inside compound one that's what this is and up here it's more structures i'm just kind of exploring the trails a little bit really no certain way to go okay so them, these structures are part of the water supply I believe that's what it was saying so we'll head back go back on the main trail down here of course this is all grown up now trees and everything so it's kind of hard to picture what it was like in the 40s bigger it's like 70 75 to 77 years later now so we'll continue on and see what we can find so follow me so we're at marker 21 right here and this says that it was the staff's mess hall where they ate 
So this would have been your U.S. Army staff mess hall here. And all it's left the foundation, of course. But we'll take a look around. Stepped in a hole there. Gotta be careful. And I'm not gonna go messing around in there. Might be some snakes, but you can see the underneath and the wood structure is falling and rotting. Pretty neat. So it's collapsing, but it's the top part of the structure. Not sure if that was a uh, part of it over there. There's some stone structure here and another little structure. That's really neat. That's a uh, history right there folks i'm gonna show you some uh german world war ii graffiti too from the prisoners that i know about here that i was reading on this map and it's just down over the hill there where the bridge is a german soldier had carved his number prison number or name in there i'm gonna walk out here and see what this is I'm not sure what we're coming to here, but it overlooks the water, I believe. Some kind of structure from that time period. There's a pond over here and another structure right there. We'll figure out what all this is, but this I'm not sure about. Just some type of building. Might have been a guard shack that stood here. Some old metal down there on the ground. Runs right by a creek. That's pretty neat. Could have been a little guard shack. I've yet to found the actual structures of the barracks where the prisoners were, but hopefully we'll run into that. It's probably deeper in the woods since this is all staff stuff. I'd like to have seen this in its heydays back in the 40s. I'm sure it's changed a lot. So I'm not quite sure which way to go. We got two trails splitting off. We'll go down to this one first and see what it is. This is number 20. This is the pump house for the water system. That's what this is. So we'll go down and take a look at it. So that little structure over there might have had something to do with the actual pump house, the water supply. There is a pond here. It's probably where they closed it in to get water.
It's a church camp pond is what it says. And <laughs> swimming area. I guess they used it to swim in at once. Yeah, so once it was a big swimming hole. That's interesting. So we'll go back up. We'll continue following this trail and see where it leads. So follow me. Okay, folks, we're coming up on a dam here. And this bridge and structure of the dam was built by German POWs that were here at the camp. Supposedly there's some graffiti on here from a German soldier and we're going to try to find it. Not liking the looks of this bridge, but we're going to try to cross it here. Seems pretty sturdy. So this is the dam. And like I said, it says that there's some German graffiti. See if we can find that. German writing on the wall. Well, I'm looking for it. Hopefully we can find it. Ah, oh, okay, I'm starting to see writing. Right over there on the other side. On the wall there. So let's go to the other side. Looks like there might be a little writing right there. That wall across the water there. So it's actual German writing on it. Right, let's go across this bridge here. It looks pretty safe. A lot of it's been worn with time, so it's actually hard to see the graffiti. But right over here you can see. Trying to get a better angle here, it's hard. about the best I'm going to be able to get to show you folks. I'm sorry, but might not be able to see that too clear. It's hard for me to see. And I'm trying to find the bridge. I'm not sure if it's back here. So many trails. I'm not sure where to go.
We'll try this way. Well, folks, uh, we're going to head back toward the car and hopefully we'll find the rest of what we're looking for. So follow me. All right, folks, after a little research in history here, um, I found out that this star here on the ground is inside compound one, which compound one was a gated uh, area where they kept the prisoners. And these are some of the building structures of the German prisoners here. That we are walking in. I believe some of these are the actual barracks. The way I understand. And let's see what else we have here. Looking at this. This is probably the compound gate, possibly, or one of the barracks of the Germans. So we're going on up the hill here. Some more structures here. This looks like frog down in there. It's either the water or the sewage area. Maybe this was part of the latrine system for the German prisoners. more structures here yeah so this is right here is one of the barracks for the German prisoners right here so you can imagine the Germans sleeping in here and they probably had uh, bunk beds in here, of course, all the way down through here. Yeah, and then there's another one right across from us, 16, which is German POW barracks. So there was two, two buildings. This was one of them where they slept. It's pretty amazing to be walking through history like this and not even knowing it was here if I hadn't come across the video on YouTube but I never knew it was here and of course back then the government kept this secret from the public the public didn't even know it was here so this is the other barracks right here This would have been the door that you entered the barracks. And it goes down through here. And this is the second barracks. So barracks one and barracks two. I'm trying to find on this paper. Seventeen. Let's see here. Okay, so I am wrong. 
Uh, this is the, uh, right here where we're standing, this is the barracks of the Germans. So they would have been housed right in here. And then this one over here, which is number 17, this would have been the latrine and the bathhouse where they took baths, the prisoners. So this here would have been the bathhouse. That would have been the barracks. So this would have been the bathhouse. And of course, I was right, this was the sewer system here, the latrines. So I showed you earlier with the water. So pretty interesting, folks. Um, I hope you're enjoying this blog. Um, I'm gonna make one more stop. And that's a bridge that they had the Germans build over Tom's Creek. And there's supposed to be some uh, German graffiti on it, too. So I'd say the top part there was the bathhouse, and this bottom part right here was the latrine, which the sewage, they had a sewage system. Here would have been the latrine right here, that being the bathhouse structure there on the corner and over there so this would have been the latrine system for the sewage right there so we're going to go back to the vehicle and uh drive down to the bridge and i want to show you that so i hope you're enjoying this blog of uh the German World War II prison camp. And uh, a lot of history here. Very interesting that we I found this and was able to share this with you. So follow me as we continue this adventure. Okay, folks, we're at our last stop on this adventure. And it's a, a bridge that was built by the German POWs that crosses Tom Creek here. It's just a little stone bridge. But supposedly there's some graffiti on the bridge here uh, where a German soldier had carved his name so let's go see if we can find this better get my glasses so i can see better so follow me and we'll try to figure this out together parked along the side of the road here the bridge and i, I kind of know where it's at but i'm not sure if it's on this side or the other side so we'll go down here to the bottom and we'll see if it's on this side or not. No, I'm not seeing it on this side, but this is the bridge that they built. So we'll go up on the other side and see if we can, I don't think this is it. I know it's, be careful here. I'm trying to see if it's here. If it is, it's worn off because I can't really see it. So we're going to try the other side of the bridge and see if we can see anything because I'm not seeing anything on this side. So let's go over to the other side. markers over here for the bridge so I'm sure it's on this side so right there's the marker 26 make our way down here So yes, it is on this side uh, where the, uh, it's right up there in, in the corner. It says, looks like number 1055 prisoner. 
it's very hard to see let me get up here in the corner on top and I can show it to you better but it is there and that's the graffiti from the German World War II prisoner so if we get up here on top be able to see it a lot better get down here so there it is can barely see it now but it is there so I thought I'd share that with you it's pretty neat to see history like that so that's it folks for now I hope you enjoyed this adventure with me today and uh, a little bit of history that I found here in Pennsylvania that I didn't even know about didn't know it existed so uh if you're watching this please subscribe to my channel hit the red subscribe button it's absolutely free uh, even if you don't watch another video don't cost you a dime just helps support my uh, channel and keeps it growing um, feel free to leave uh, comments suggestions of things you'd like to see in the future give it a thumbs up and go out there in the meantime have your own adventures and enjoy life so uh Till next time, this is Uncle Jimmy, Jimmy's Train Station Travel Adventures. Goodbye.